sweater dress season is officially here friends and I am super excited because I just love wearing my sweater dresses and I'm sure you do too. That's why I ordered a ton of pieces from Amazon to share with you. I have a fun try on haul and I'll be sharing all of the details, sizing, fit, quality, basically everything you need to know to make shopping easy for you. As always, everything's going to be linked in the description box below so let's get started. We'll start with the dress that I'm wearing which is this really pretty v-neck cable knit dress. This dusty blush is like the perfect shade of pink and I have to say this might be the softest dress that I ordered from everything that I got on Amazon. The touch and the feel is just incredibly soft. This one comes in 13 colors and it's right under $45. It does have one slit on the side and like I said a V neckline and then it has a little belt. I will say I don't prefer to keep the loops on the dresses. I feel like it makes them look a little bit cheap. You can put the belt on top or just not wear one at all. Now, I also think this sweater dress is really, really versatile. It looks super cute with boots, but I also dress it up with heels too. This one does run true to size. It is a size small. I would recommend considering Spanx with this one, not because it's clingy, but just sweater dresses in general. Sometimes they do highlight and hug your curves, but you may not want certain curves to show. So for that, definitely go for space. Okay, this rib knit pullover is so good. I did not think I was gonna like this one that much, but it's extra cozy, it's extra comfy. It's really great for like every day, like picking your kids up from school, drop off the soccer game, running errands on the weekend. Like it's such a cute casual fit. I just threw it on with like some white sneakers and a baseball hat. Of course, you can definitely style it with like flat boots if you want to as well. Again, I'm just really loving this for like just a comfy, everyday sweater dress. It does come in 16 colors. It runs true to size. I'm wearing it in a size small. It's right under $45, so it's pretty well priced. The material itself is also very, very soft, like the last one. I am really particular when it comes to sweater dresses. Like, I can't stand when the fabric is like itchy and you feel like the knit all over you, and this one is not like that at all. It is definitely like very soft and very cozy. This one would also look really cute with like a belt bag. I actually just ordered a super cute fleece belt bag from Amazon. I'll link that below. It's not gonna be here in time for this video, obviously, but if you're interested, I feel like it would look so cute with something like that. This next dress is a crew neck sweater dress. It is definitely more of a chunky knit. It comes in 23 different color options, runs true to size. I am in a size small, it's more of like a brown shade. It is not as soft as the other dresses. I mean, it is still soft. It's not itchy by any means, but the other two that I showed you before definitely were on the softer side. Just wanted to let you know. This is more of like your run-of-the-mill standard sweater dress where it does feel a little bit shapeless. I don't know if I love this one as much as the other ones. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you think I should keep this one or not. Some of these dresses I do already own. Some of them I did the Amazon try before you buy. I've actually never done it before, but it's a way for you to try on clothes at home and you get like a seven day try on and then you keep what you want and then send back the rest. So definitely let me know if you think this one is a keeper or not. It is comfortable, it is cute, but I don't know that it's my favorite of the ones I've tried so far. This next dress I actually featured in my last video. It is a wrap front style, which is really great for a lot of different body types. And then the bottom of it is more of a bodycon fit on the skirt, but I will say it does have plenty of give. This one does come in six colors and it has the prettiest lace back detail. It looks really nice if you wanna wear it like slightly off the shoulder or if you wanna wear both slightly off the shoulder as well, then you can do that. This red sweater dress is a personal favorite of mine. I've had it in my closet for quite a while because it's like the perfect holiday dress. I actually wore this last year for Christmas Eve and it was so comfortable to be just like celebrating with my family. I didn't have to worry about what I ate, but it also still looks glam and beautiful. It comes in 20 colors and is right under $50. This one is more of a midi length, but it does have two slits on the side and it does have a wrap front. I will say that on the picture on Amazon, for some reason, like the model's wearing it like off the shoulders and thrown back. I don't really feel like there's a lot of give at the shoulders to do that. And it's not really necessary in this dress anyways. So I wouldn't like wear it like that, but just wanted to give you a heads up because I feel like sometimes the picture on Amazon is slightly different than when you get it in real life. Anyways, I absolutely love this one. Definitely recommend. It does come with a belt. You don't have to use it. It doesn't have any loops. I may have cut them off and I just don't remember. I put it to the back just to show you what it looks like, but super cute and very figure flattering. Something else I almost forgot to mention is that I styled it with these beautiful crystal embellished shoes. I actually got these on Amazon. I think I featured these last year. They're definitely like a designer look for less for the Mac and Mac shoes. I love them for the holiday season if you're looking for like a really cute shoe to glam up your outfit 
One pro tip if you do get these shoes is one, you're gonna wanna size up half a size and also the back of like the ankle strap does like slip off a little bit. People complain about it in the reviews. So I just used a little thin strip of fashion tape to hold them up and it's totally worked. Okay, so this black dress, it's really figure flattering. Like it has this really interesting ruched detail here on the bust, which I didn't think I would like, but it's kind of interesting and it's very slimming overall. The sleeves have like just the right amount of poof without them being too much volume. They do cuff here as well. And it's just a really nice fit. It's not too tight, not too loose, not extra material. This one's really soft as well. It comes in 16 color options and it does have a slit on the side. I will say that this one's also really easy to style like so many different ways. I got it in black because again, that was one of the colors that was available on the Prime Try Before You Buy. Like I said, this was my first time doing the Prime Try Before You Buy and apparently only like some color options are available to ship quickly, so I went with black, but black is really versatile. Like I had it on with booties just now, but I would definitely do it with like heels or sandals. Like there's literally so many ways to wear it. quick fail I had to share with you is this Drop collection dress. I typically highly recommend dresses from the Drop. They're very good quality. However, I do think that they run a little bit big. This one was in a small and maybe that's the problem. Maybe I needed an extra small. It's just not flattering at all. It literally looks like I'm wearing a paper bag. It needs a belt. I don't know. I understand that it's supposed to be like kind of a loose fun fit, but you'll have to tell me what you think about it in the comments. I feel like this one is definitely a no for me. I really like how it feels otherwise and I love the color. It's like the perfect soft blue, but yeah, this one's definitely a no-go for me. This next dress is not new to me. I've actually had this one in my wardrobe for a year or two-ish, I wanna say. It comes in nine colors and it's really well priced under $35. And I'm just a sucker for a nice classic ladylike dress. If you follow my channel or my style at all, then you know I am really a sucker for like feminine fashion and ladylike looks. This one is so pretty in like this nude blush kind of color. It has a wrap front detail, it cinches at the waist, and then it has an A-line skirt that's pleated. So pretty, kind of makes me feel like a ballerina. I've worn this with ankle boots and I've worn this with heels too. Here I'm styling it with my black Dior heels, but you can wear this one so many different ways, lots of different color options. This one also does fit true to size. I am wearing a size small. Okay, you guys, this navy sweater dress that I'm wearing is literally my most worn purchase in the last month or so. Ever since I got it, I've literally been wearing it at least once a week. It's just really comfortable. It's the perfect fit. Sometimes sweater dresses I feel can look kind of like a bag depending on how they're styled. Kind of like that chunky brown one I put on earlier. I feel like that wasn't as flattering as a fit where this one is just like not too big, not too small and like a just really easy fitting and just super cute and comfortable. This one comes in under $50 and about 15 color options. It does have a really big collar, which is really on trend right now. And you can see ribbed detail here on the sleeve and then again on the trim of the dress. But like I said, I wear this dress like literally once a week. I work to lunch with friends, to run errands, to pick my kids up from school. It, like just to be at home. It's just really easy breezy, it's so comfortable. Definitely one of my favorites that I've ordered even in the last like month or two. All right guys, I hope you loved this try on as much as I did. Let me know in the comments below which look was your favorite and which one you think I should return out of the ones that I was not so hot on. This was super fun. Definitely hit the subscribe button and like this video so I know to make more like this. I'll see you over on the next Amazon try on over here. Bye.